Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith and today I wanted to share an article with you that was sent to me by a subscriber. I think this warrants another video. So um, we are talking about the East Palestine, Ohio train wreck and they're saying it's the dioxin. So it's not just what was in the tanker cars, it's what happens when they burn and combine. And this may be the largest dioxin plume in world history. I know of no more serious release Ever. So let's go ahead and hit the highlights of this. There is a lot of information here to unpack, so I am not going to um, talk about everything in here. They say that most coverage of the train wreck in Palestine, Ohio is missing one word, dioxin. There were reportedly 14 tanker cars full of vinyl chloride, a precursor to polyvinyl chloride that is vinyl. Burning vinyl is the most serious source of dioxin in the environment, whether from trash incinerators, house fires, or chemical spills. They say while this vinyl chloride is a precursor chemical to making PVC, anytime chlorinated compounds burn, there will be dioxins created. And dioxin is a manufacturing byproduct of any manufacturing process involving chlorine from disinfectants to bleach of paper. There was plenty of dioxin in those tanker cars before they caught fire. So this mess of 14 tanker cars, really many more, but 14 had vinyl chloride, was then set on fire by the government, apparently to make it easier to clear the railroad tracks. This was the worst possible decision. It has turned many, many miles into what should be no man's land. Do you guys hear that? It should be no man's land in that area. This is absolutely disgusting. Now here, I think, is given Giving us a bigger picture. So this, they say, is a watershed map of where these toxins could go. And as you see, it's going to cover the vast majority of the United States of America through the river system. So this is something that we need to think about. The Ohio River um, feeds in and um, the Tennessee River branches off of that, it feeds into the um, Mississippi River here, right? And then the Mississippi River then branches off into the Missouri, branches off into the Arkansas White Red River Basin, and of course, the Lower Mississippi River Basin. So this has far-reaching effects all the way over here into my state of Colorado. So this is something that we need to pay attention to, and we need to understand what is really happening here. So they say, this is not a local issue. This massive plume will spread far and wide and is being blown by the prevailing winds across Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York State toward the population centers of the Northeastern U.S., they say in via land and water, the toxins can spread in many directions, water, soil, movement of air, since the prevailing winds are only an average and the contamination is so serious that even soil tracking will spread significant amounts. So, and they say few people remember how um, the town of Times Beach, Missouri was evacuated, purchased by the federal government, leveled, and had its zip code removed from far, far less dioxin contamination. So, that is just something else. They say that has been out of the news for more than 30 years. So that's why we don't have any um, grasp on the reality of this situation or the sense of this problem. Um, and many of the journalists and editors are not even aware of this. And so that's why they are not talking about any of this stuff. So they go into more details about what dioxins are, how they are created. They say they were extremely toxic component in the Vietnam War era, defoliant agent orange. Um, they go in here and they also talked about the biggest lawsuit that happened um, between, I forget who it was, and uh, Monsanto. Oh, the Kemner versus Monsanto um, in Sturgeon, Missouri. So that is um, something that, that took place there. The ugly truth about dioxin and Monsanto came out into the open. And the toxicity, it says, is uncomprehensible. They give you an um, example in here. One aspirin tablet weighs five grains. Um, and then they talk about the lifetime dose, right? So they say that means that the weight of one aspirin tablet is the equivalent lifetime safe dose of dioxin for more than 32 million people. This is one reason why manufacturers want to distill it out of the products where it slips in. They don't know what to do with it. So they let it go out into the environment unmitigated. And, and when you look at this, right, you think about the, the repercussions of this. You know, a lot of us want to try to eat organic, right? You want to try to eat organic and eat healthier. But if this thing has actually um, spread into the water system, into the soil, into the air, it has been spread all over, there is not going to be 
any truly organic food available for purchase. I want you to understand that. I want you to understand the implications of what we're dealing with and how this has just infiltrated all of the majority of our growing um, areas in this country. It looks like the only area that is probably... Um, of good fertile growing ground is going to be California that's unscathed, but who knows what they have done out there, right? And then we also know about the implications from droughts. We could equate this to something as dangerous as Chernobyl and um, because of what they have done. What have they done to all of the people of the world um, that are also going to be eating food that we ship out, right? We were already having, you know, so many issues and so many health problems just because of what Monsanto had already done to contaminate our food supply with the GMOs. Now we've added to it these dioxins. And how are they going to then explain this away, right? Are we going to see, you know, them say, well, you know, this is because of this. We have another disease outbreak, right? Are they going to invent another disease outbreak that doesn't really exist to explain away why so many people are getting all of these different types of cancers um, and other things that are taking place. They say um, these dioxins are hormonally toxic. They're extremely persistent and they build up in the food chain, generally in the lipids, and they say they're bioactive. So that means that um, the contagion factor is different. You know, running through families, for instance, passing through the mother's milk, affecting whole communities through a toxic release. I know we all want to try to make the, the most healthy choices and decisions we can with our food, but this is what our government has subjected to us to. This is a war against the people. I think everybody needs to understand that. But there's no way, guys, that they don't have the information on these um, these dioxins, that they don't have the information on these chemicals, that they did not know what they were doing was going to have lasting effects. Um, they didn't care. It was all about the almighty dollar. It's all about greed. Um, it's all about, you know, further decline of population really just don't care about us. And it just proves that, you know, you can't trust anybody in government. You can't trust anybody in these organizations. And if you're relying on them to be your source, you need to understand how volatile that is and how, um, ill-informed you are if you trust them. So you need to be doing everything you can to prepare your families, anything that you can put back, anything that you can learn to grow yourself, anything that you can try to do to take more control over your own food supply and what your family eats. Um, and prayer, guys, we are going to have to pray over everything. You know, we need to pray over our food, our water. Um, we need God's help in this. There is, you know, when you look at this, it looks very daunting. It looks very bleak. It looks very hopeless. And the only one that I know to turn to is God Almighty that can help us through these situations to make better um, decisions for our families, to lead us, to guide us, to help us to continue to prepare in all areas. And the other thing that I wanted to touch on real quick is just water, um, understanding how important water is and, you know, water filtration, water purification, understanding that you need different steps, different methods. I would not rely on just one method of purification when it comes to water. Understand, you know, the difference between um, what re reverse osmosis can do, what basic water filters can do, what boiling does, um, what purification tablets. You need to understand all of the different methods, distilling the purpose behind all of those and why you want to have so many different methods available to you and be able to put your water through so many stages and steps before um, drinking that. So I would advise you guys to research into that. Um, think about, you know, what you can do to better um, clean your water and purify your drinking water for your family. If you guys have enjoyed this video today, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless. Hey guys, are you concerned about the death of the dollar? Are you concerned about a full-blown economic collapse? If you are, I want you to consider giving Genesis Gold Group a call. They are a Christian-based company that is going to help you roll over your 401k into a gold-backed IRA that is self-governed. You also have the ability to send them cash and take possession of those precious metals if that is something that you would like to do. You know, as we see all of these things unfolding before us, the sky high inflation, the move away from the U.S. dollar as a petrodollar, and we see the central bank digital currencies that are going to be underway this summer. Preserving our wealth through precious metals is one way to sort of hedge our bets and make sure that we have something that is going to be more substantial to carry us forward. So go ahead, check them out. They are Genesis Gold Group, genesisgoldgroup.com, or give them a call at 1-800-200- 
4653. Tell them Prepping by Faith sent you and God bless.